very well, Council. We resume. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Honorable Commissioners. I call Mr. Abdullah Cham. I recall Mr. Abdullah Cham, Social Security and October. Housing Finance. What is the business? 18th October. Social Security. Morning, Mr. Cham. May we remind you of your oath, sir, that you're still on the oath. Yes, Thank you. You know, have a seat. That's it. Yeah, please. Mr. Cham, when you testified on the last occasion, there was still a set of documents regarding to loans that were not available with you, yes. I believe. Yes, ma'am. Um, do you have them? Yes, I do. This is, this is in regard to NAWEC? Yes, it's in connection with NAWEC. Okay. Could you tell the commission about it? Yes, this was also classified as a non-performing loan regarding to a, an executive directive from the office of the president dated um, 27 October 2010. Um, uh, the subject matter was engineering procurement construction EPG agreement between social security and housing finance. Sorry, you have to slow down. I, I ah, okay. so that we can hear you distinctively. Yes, this was in relation to I'm um, uh, Nawek in regards to uh, engineering procurement of construction agreement between Social Security and Housing Finance Corporation and GTG for installation, testing, commissioning of two existing HFO fired generators at Birkamau Power Plant, the Gambia. It was a directive for Social Security. Yes. Office of the President. By letter dated what? It was the date October. of the letter. The letter was dated 28 October 2010. Okay. This is additional to the NAWIC loans that you have submitted? Yes, exactly. And you say it's non-performing? It's non-performing, yeah. It's classified as non-performing loan. How much was the loan? Sorry? How much was the loan? The amount for this... Um, it's about one million eight hundred and six forty thousand euro six hundred. Can you be more specific? It was one million eight hundred and forty thousand euro six hundred euros. Eight hundred and forty thousand six hundred euros. What was the equivalent in the last year at the time? Um, uh, Seventy-four million five hundred and seventeen thousand. Okay. Who was the loan given to? Um, uh, 
this amount relates to the, as I said earlier, the, as the subject matter, is in connection with the procurement construction agreement between Social Security and GTG, which is global trading um, uh, company, for installation, testing, and commissioning of two existing, you know, HFO fire generators at Birkama power plant. Two power, two generators. Yes, two basically. generators. Two and generators two were generators. to be installed exactly. at Brikama power plant. Power plant, that's right. And Social Security was required to finance the installation cost. Cost, exactly. Um, so you have a letter that is yes, the directive from Office of effect. the President. Do you have the agreement you just mentioned? Yes, I did have the agreement signed between the Social Security and the GTG and the Global Trading Group. Global Trading Group. Who signed yes, the agreement on behalf of Social Security and who signed on behalf of Global Trading Group? Mr. Edward Graham, the then Managing Director of Social Security and Housing Finance Corporation, and uh, Manhal, with us on behalf of Global Trading Group. And where was the money paid? These amounts were paid to Global Trading Group. You have the, you have the documents? Yes, I have the payment vouchers. Global Trading Group yes. in an account in Gambia or in an account abroad? No, in, 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 in Gambia, at the trust, trust bank. What's the account number? Well, there are a series of payments regarding to that. Two of the payments were made, um, a payment voucher was raised, the payment voucher is here, and paid to Global Trading. Yes, where? In Trust Bank Gambia, you said? No, no, we raised the pay, we wrote Global Trading Group and paid the amount. It was an initial uh, advance payment of 1.3, which was converted to dollars and then paid to Global Trading. In Gambia? Subsequent payment, yes. Okay. The payments right. were made in dollars, equivalent to 1.8 million euros. Did you have a board resolution for this loan? Mm. Or board approval in whatever form? Well, I cannot remember whether there was a board resolution to that effect. Probably the submission requested by your office from uh, office to submit all board work about resolution. Probably it would, if there was any board uh, work about resolution, but I actually yeah, don't know. This, yeah, your secretary, board secretary, is expected to produce all board resolutions. Yes, Very well. You don't have it here. No, I don't have it. If there, if it exists, yeah. that's what you're saying. Okay. Um, only the Ministry of Finance was involved in this one, or was Ministry of Sorry, on Office of the President was involved? Um, was the Ministry of Finance involved in any way? You know, it was between the Office of the President and then the Ministry of Energy as well. Because there is a memo, a letter written to Social Security from the Minister of Energy, okay. quoting a letter reference dated 27, which I earlier mentioned from the Office of the President. Okay. What about Nawek? Sorry? Did you, did you ha do you have a loan agreement with Nawek? No, we don't have any agreement with Nawek. Normally, when this installation was taking place, <coughs> the GTG will do the work with their own construction district. And then now it will do the certification for us to pay. What I want to know, this is you you call this a loan. Yes. It's a loan from Social Security to Nawek. Yes. Meaning Nawek is the borrower. Yeah, now now, do you have a, do you have an agreement with Nawek that they were borrowing from Social Security with the intention of paying it back? Uh, no, we don't have an agreement with okay. Nawek regarding to the seventy four million. All right, let's have the documents. That that's all you have. You have mentioned all the documents that you have. Yes, that's the document, the, the directive we receive, and then the instruction to the bank to effect payment regarding to these particular payments. Do you have anything on record that Nawek? This is a loan to Nawek, instead of just a, a payment made on the instructions of the office yes, of the president. I'm not. I'm not too sure, but there was an additional document regarding to this issue. Um, we went further by signing a document, uh, if I could remember, BOT, BOT, which we call Build, Hold and Transfer. And that was between Social Security and NAVEC regarding to this power plant. You didn't bring it? Maybe I would further check on the documentation because this was, you know, really treated at top management level under sort of 2010. Definitely I was not at that 
top management this thing to yes but you are here sitting as social security yeah. so you're not speaking for yourself yeah okay so you need to bring all documents okay that are I, would, I would i will try and find a document and so i'm aware that there was a bot document regarding to this particular uh, project all right let's have those documents Mr. Chairman, may I apply to have admitted documents said to relate to a loan of 1,840,600 um, euro to NAWEC with regard to the installation of generators at Brikama Power Plant?
engineering, procurement, construction, that is EPC agreement dated 28th October 2010 between Social Security and Housing Finance Corporation and Global Trading Group, NV Antwerp, and related correspondence in a bundle, admitted Mark SC34. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Cham, do you know how Global Trading Group um, came to be awarded the, the, the contract for the installation? Do you know anything about it? No, I don't. Um, the two generating sets that they were supposed to install, does Social Security have anything to do with them? Well, basically, our responsibility there was to meet the cost of the installation. Okay. There were two generating sets yes. that Social Security was supposed to have procured. Yeah. Are those the generating sets also? Well, I, I, I don't know what you're referring regarding to Social Security to procure um, two generators. Initially, there was a particular loan uh, of about $118 million, which was given to NAWIC for the procurement of two generator sets. It could probably be these two generators at Birkama, that afterwards okay. they came up with the installation bid. Okay. Because according to the correspondence, the draft agreement I saw regarding to the 118 million, it says two 6.5 mega generators at, for Birkama. And the same thing, we're talking the same Birkama regarding to two generators. So I believe they had a link. So you had... 118 million loan with this installation um, cost as well. So there was a previous loan? Yeah, there was a previous to loan. To purchase generating set? Yes. <coughs> Those loans were not presented to the commission? Yeah, definitely. Because what we presented on the commission was the non-performing loan. <coughs> this 118 million was there since 2005 six. But recently, in 2015, we had an agreement between Social Security and NAWEC for the repayment of that um, 118 million loan. And the agreement is um, it will be settled offsetting against... You're, you're speaking so fast. Uh, okay. Can you kindly slow down? Sorry, yes. ma. Sorry. Okay. The agreement regarding to that 118 million between Social Security and NAWEC is about uh, offsetting our bills. Social Security, water and electricity bill will be treated against that 118 million plus um, our two hotels, which is Ocean Bay Hotel and Sun Beach Hotel, plus GTSC every month. So normally bills for GTSC would be sent to GTSC and then they will raise a check to Social Security. And same thing applies to those hotels as well. When they receive their bills, they will raise a check to Social Security. We'll provide receipt and update NAVEC so that they will credit that loan account between us. So that is being settled against that specific loan? That 118. That's Not the agreement. And it is signed and we have it in this thing. If you want a copy, we mm. can provide you a copy of that agreement as well. Uh, I think for the records, it would be um, at least to complete the records. Yes, ma'am. It would be important that you provide the agreement. Yeah. When you say this loan is also non-performing, it means it's part of those loans. You had presented, I just want you to be clear, you had presented certain specific loans, loans yeah. with regard to NAWEC the last time. Yeah. Um, this one should be added then to those loans. No, no, no. Okay, this one should be added to the NAWEC This 1.8 million yes, should, yes, be, added should be, added be added to that. That's right. That's right. Hmm. Does it affect the total 1.7 billion you said was the yeah, debt the, yeah. Is it part of it? Yeah, or? it's part of the 1.7. It's part of the 1.7 yes, billion. Yes, yeah. That's outstanding. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I have no further questions on this issue. Before we move on to investments, you might have questions on, on this one. Mr. Chan, we'll move on to investments, as I told you the last time. Yes, ma'am. Um, investments that were made on the, at the direction or on the instruction of the Office of the President at the invest investments we are interested in, of you, and anything connected with them initially, of course. 
Yes, we do have some investment directed by the Office of the President as well. Um, on my last appearance, um, I have um, the lady up there with uh, Mr. Sen, they did make some inquiries regarding to our investment portfolio. So if I may be allowed, I make a brief summary of uh, the cooperation investment portfolio to date. A brief summary of that. Well, our investments uh, relate to basically the, our equity investment. It relates to equity acquisition sale of sales, the banks with other institution ventures. Like Standard Chartered Bank, we have sales. CFO as well, we have says Trust Bank Gambia, uh, Gamco. And we would be interested in knowing. Please slow no, down. I just want to give you would us, be, okay, yes, our, you're, you're, setting, you're telling us about your investments. Yeah. But whatever you tell us has, has to be meaningful. Okay, now, fine. Now, in Standard Chartered Bank, for instance, how, many, how much shares do you own? Yeah, it's, it's what performing. Percentage? I just want to give a proof summary, but okay, I'll give you the total regarding to our equity investment. Within that equity you, investment, that's so, where we have non-performing investments. Okay. That was basically directives from the Office of the President. Those are the non-performing investments. All right. Give us your investments. Okay. And then we, then we will discuss the ones that are uh, for the purpose of, um, okay. at least within the scope of our terms of reference. All right. Our total, our total investment to date regarding equity investment is about $1.89 billion. Okay. Yes. And out of that one... Point eight nine billion dollars is three hundred and ten million dollars is are classified as non performing investments. Three hundred and ten billion. million. Yeah. Million. Million, million. Are classified as non performing investments. On those non performing investments, it relates to Gamco for an investment of about fifteen point six million dollars is Gamco. Gamco. 15.6 million. 15.6. Gallia Holdings. These are the two ferries acquired some time ago. That's how much? That uh, the Gallia is 162.1 million dollars. Is. And then you have Qatari. That is the Gambia Food and Feed Industries. You call it the Qatari investment. Yes, Qatari investment, that's right. And that one totals to um, $133,605,000. These are the three non-performing. Non-performing. And you're saying these are investments you made on the, at the direction of the Office of the President. Of the President, that's right, ma'am. Right. Uh, um, there, there is one in particular, which is the uh, gum petroleum, but now it's performing. We classify it as performing investment. It's performing now. Gum Very petroleum. Dividend. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, could you tell us, um, let's start with gum petroleum. What is your investment in gum petroleum? Yeah, our investment is, gum petroleum is about 37%, 30, sorry, 31% holdings. And the number Meaning of you own 31% yeah, of the equity percent, in yeah, that of the company. Yeah, that's right. Okay. What was your equity contribution um, equivalent to this? Cost, the cost to that 31% was um, 377 million and 71 thousand dollars. Okay. You said it was when did you for, when did you make this investment? 2008. You said it was non-performing until recently. Yeah. Um, what was the period of non-performance and when did it st when did it start performing? Up to 2014. 2008. To 2014. Yeah, 2014 because we started receiving dividend for the year 2014 2015. In you know, 2015, are, yeah, 2014 2015. That's right, that's the time we start receiving dividend today. You, you mean you started receiving it in 2015 for the year 2014? Yeah, is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah. So you've been paid how many twice? Twice, that's right, 2015 and in 2016. Yeah, what did you how much did you receive? 
Um, it totals to $16.096 million. Is total? Yes, the total. The received, yeah, today. 16 million? 16.096. 16 million and 96,000. 96, yeah. You have a breakdown per year? Yes. <clears throat> the 2014-15, we received 7,380,000. 7 million three? 380,000. Mm -hmm. And the year 2015-16, we received 8 million 716 million, 16,000. Sorry. And according to their draft accounts for 2017, we're expecting a dividend even <coughs> higher than this. Can you tell us what rate of return this is? Can you tell us? Are you able to tell us what rate of return on your equity investment this is? No, maybe I could, uh, we could say payback, payback period regarding to this investment. No, no. I'm talking about the dividend payments you received for 2014 and 2015. What was the rate return? No, what they Has it been calculated? No, it wasn't calculated. I think normally what they do, they apply 31%. Okay. There should be a, a policy regarding to payment of dividend. Okay, there is a statutory requirement that certain percentage would be on the earnings would be credited to the earnings and then probably the balance would be paid as dividend and the percentage would apply on those balances. Probably 31% of those blood balance was applied which <coughs> gave us these two figures. understand. I just wanted us to have an indication. Just, okay. A basis for comparison in other words. Yeah, you are right. receiving a certain rate on your original investment of 377 million as compared to what you probably receive for let's say Standard Chartered Bank exactly. or Trust Bank. But you are saying you can't tell us. Okay. Is there a dividend policy? Yeah, there should be a dividend policy. Is there a dividend policy at that Gam is for Gam Petroleum for Gam Petroleum. Yeah, they should have that. Normally in any Do you know whether they have one? A dividend I, I, policy. I don't know, but okay. that should be. That's fine, that's okay. fine. So you are saying this is, you classify this now as performing? Yeah, it is performing. And you don't now have now an because, issue you know, with we're it? We're receiving dividend and we expect to receive more in the coming years. Um, Honorable Commissioners, you might have questions before I move on to the next investment. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, let's move on then to the non-performing investments, those you classify as non-performing. Yeah. What is your basis for classifying them as non-performing? Well, uh, making particular investment for number of years, uh, year, number of years without any returns. Okay. What is your threshold? Do you have a threshold for the number of years within which you would expect to have returns? No, normally in accounting, at least a minimum of five years. And these are way beyond yeah, five years. They are, year. they are beyond the five-year five threshold. So definitely okay. Should be All right. Which one do you want to start with? Um, uh, let me start with Galia Holdings, please, Ma, if you allow me. All right. Tell us about Galia Holdings. Yeah, Galia Holdings is in connection with the acquisition of two ferries. We received directives from the office of the. Um, The Minister of Finance initially requesting Social Security to put um, initial deposit of 20% contribution and government contribution. Anyway, to start with in the initial stage, um, a document. There was a joint venture between the Gambia government and a Greek company called Gallia, signed well before a directive was issued to us for to effect payment. What is the date of the joint venture? The date of the joint venture was Agreement. Um, 5th March 2011. And the parties are? Can you tell us the parties and who signed on behalf of the parties? Okay, signed by <coughs> Mr. Hali Abdullah Gai. Hali or Ali? Hali. Hali, Hali. H. Hali. H H A L I. In what capacity? Uh, he signed on behalf of the Republic of the Gambia, according to the document, and then witnessed by Pahari Jame. In what capacity did he indicate his title? No, they just witnessed by Pahari Jame signature and then put place in Greece. The document was signed in Greece. 
and the partner, joint venture partner is called, what is the name of the joint venture partner? Uh, Give Mr. us the full name. The, the, the other party who signed? Yes. Uh, Mr. Stavros Sorry. Kalasnaski. Okay. Spell it. S-T-A-V. S-T-A. S-T-A-V-R-O-S. And Galanakis is G A L A N A K I S. L A C I S. G A L N A K I S. L A K I S. Yeah. And he signed on behalf of. Oh, Galia Holdings. Galia. Yes, Galia Holdings. Is it Galia Holdings Limited? Galia Holdings Limited, please, yeah. Okay. And then witnessed by Anta Nation Diagos. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. That, that's, let's move on. It was also signed in Greece as well. And this, you said, was a joint venture partner to... For the acquisition of these ferries. By Gambia, Gambia government? Yes, by Gambia government. From this joint venture partner, Gallia Holdings? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, the joint venture agreement between the Republic of the Gambia and Gallia Holdings. That's the agreement. All and right. from this agreement, a directive was issued to Social Security to meet government contribution regarding to this um, uh, joint venture agreement. An initial letter was sent to us for us to pay a deposit of 20%, which was about 350,000 euro. And what is the date of the letter? The date of the letter, you Eight said? March. The letter was dated 8 March. From Ministry of Finance. Minister of Finance, yeah. Because the reason why it came from Ministry of Finance was a letter from the office, was, office of the President was written to the Ministry of Finance for Ministry of Finance to write to Social Security to effect the payment. All those what is the date of the letter from uh, office of office the of President? The President. Uh, surprisingly, it's on the 8th. That same date. Why are you surprised? That it took a, a day to uh, complete this kind of transaction, knowing okay. the, <laughs> this thing of government. This thing, so protocol. you are saying a letter emanated from Office of the President on the 8th to Finance on the 8th. On when the 8th. did Finance write to you? And then uh, that same day, they wrote Finance wrote to us on the 8th. Okay, yeah. So what happened? And then the letter written to us, there was an attachment where the money should be paid to. Okay. On a joint account of um, Galia Holdings, Modu Sabali, and Keba S3. What do you mean? Okay, they send us a directive. Ask us to pay the, to make an initial payment of 350000 That is the deposit, 20% deposit. The directive is here. Okay, it says, let me, please, if you allow me, I read this letter, please. Okay. Um, address to managing director. Extremely urgent. Request for payment of government 20% towards the financing for the purchase of ferries. That is the subject matter. If the letter says, as you are aware, the Gambia government, the government of the Gambia has concluded a joint venture agreement with Gallia Holdings, a Greek investors, for the purchase and the operation of two ferries in the Gambia. In the joint venture, the government of the Gambia has 45% share holding and thus required to contribute the same person towards the financing of the venture. The agreed price of one of the ferries now being considered Papa Gages 4 is Euro 1,750,000. This put our contribution towards the initial deposit at 20% at Euro 350,000. And this must be paid by the end of today, which was on the 8th itself. Okay. Based on the above direct and the above, a directive has been issued for Social Security and Housing Finance Corporation to participate in this venture by making the initial deposit of Euro 350,000. The final shareholding will be discussed and agreed subsequently. And then attach our bank details for payment. Signed Mode ASECA Permanent Secretary 1, Minister of Finance. Okay. And the attachment of the bank details is here with is a joint account, Galia Holdings Limited, Mowadu Sabali and Keba Estuary. And that's where we paid the money. In, which, in which bank? Um, this must be in the in Greek. The bank in Greece. in Greece? Yeah, it must be in Greece, yeah. It's in Greek? Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. And did you pay? Yeah, we actually paid. The, there is an attachment here on the foreign exchange uh, transfer form, which we made a tele telegraphic, uh, telex transfer for that particular payment. That's your entire investment in this? No. This was the initial deposit. The documentation regarding the initial payment here is the telex transfer document with the swift confirmation copy that we have that them. the payment was right. actually made. And, and on my can, can you add it to the agreement, joint venture agreement? Yes. yes, thank you. And then on my 38th, a letter from the office which, of the Which year? Um, this is my 38th, 2011. Same year? Same year and same mm. month. We receive a letter from the office of the president, address, says extremely urgent, address to the managing director of Social Security and Housing Finance Corporation, ECOWAS Avenue, a request for payment towards the financing, the design of the Banjul and Barrow slipways for ferries. Slipways? Yes. Following the concluded joint venture agreement between the government of the Gambia and Galia Holdings for the purchase and operation of two ferries in the Gambia, you are hereby urgently request to settle an amount of euro 979,375, the euro account of the said company. And they code the same account number. It's a long account number stated here. The same account number in yeah, Greece? The same account number. Earlier. To build sleepways in Gambia. Are you sure? Can you check? Is the same account number? Yeah, because it's the same attachment on that. Okay. They code the account number with the attachment. Okay, very well. Yeah. Did you pay? Yes, we did the payment. The, uh, and then for this one, um, there was a work about, board work about resolution of which the board agreed. And what, is the, what is the date of the walkabout resolution? The walkabout resolution was dated 1st April 2011. Who was the chair of the board at the time? No, in the walkabout resolution should indicate. Oh, yeah. That's right. I was going through my order. Uh, Mr. Amadou Samba was the chair at the time. <coughs> Managing director? Uh, Mr. Tumbul Danso. But what I saw here... Um, it was signed for Mr. Tumbul Danso by the then, the, deputy, then Deputy Managing Director, which was Mr. Saber Tufal. But Mr. Tumbul Danso's name was, is on it? Well, it was on yes. the uh, yeah, yeah. board auto, let's say. Is that the only payment you made? Okay, this was, this was, this related to the acquisition cost of the ferries. The attachments are there regarding the instruction to the bank to effect this payment. And then the confirmation of the payment, the sweet confirmation also attached here. In addition to that, <coughs> the construction bit of this slipway, the ramps came. And then we were also asked to participate regarding to that payment. I thought the 900 and something thousand euro you mentioned is for the slipways. Yes. I that's think, what the letter said. Yeah, that's what the letter says. But I think it is an error regarding to the subject matter of the particular letter. Because if you go Please speak up. Your volume is going down. Now, what I'm saying is probably the second letter, the subject matter, it could be a mistake on that. I think it relates to the acquisition cost of the two ferries. I see. Because if you go through the investment analysis attached on this thing, the on cost attached to? to this joint agreement, you see the cost of the, these ferries is far more than 350,000 euros. And initially, well, on yeah. the first letter, they mentioned 1,750,000. We paid 20% of that. So they were talking of the balance of that amount. Hmm. All right. I'm sure this story will become clear. Yeah. Probably, you know, GPA, port, comes GPA and, yeah. would be yes. more distinct regarding to this whole thing. Our, well. you know, um, so what is the total? Do you have a breakdown of your total yes, investment? Yes, I have a breakdown of the total of, of, of our entire expenditure regarding to this. Um, could, you, yeah. could you add it to the... Yes. yes. All right. Thank Which you. Which is about 162 million, 180,000. Ten dollars and thirty-two bottles. Okay. This is. Could you the put the documents together? Yes. This is acquisition and building this, of slipways. Yeah. Uh, yes, acquisition costs and building of slipway with the inter-company account settlement. Inter-company with who? Yes, with ports. Oh. Normally, okay. <clears throat> Whatever expenses they meet towards this um, uh, joint venture at their end, they will split it between us and them. That like forty five percent of the cost. We'll meet forty five percent of the cost. So that's that's why we call it the 
intercompany account settlement GPA and really I think GPA, GPA would be in a better position in explaining the whole idea regarding to this whole area because they were at the center of everything. Our main uh, this thing was to effect payment as directed. And ho hopefully to get it back as well. Yes, definitely. That's to get why the we, money back. We, we, well, and hope to get our uh, investment returns on this particular investment back, which was... Uh, was there a loan agreement? Or it's just an equity investment? Uh, it's an equity investment. And then uh, I could further was, say... Sorry, Mr. Cham, was there a shareholders agreement? Yeah, in fact, that's what I wanted to come on. Yeah. In fact, in a normal accounting point of view, you might not call it uh, an investment proper. Because normally an investment, you will have an investment certificate and that sort of thing. But we have not gone to that level. You don't you have, cannot, what I say, you don't have a share, share certificate? We don't have a share certificate. None was issued? None. By it the way, do you, do you have a share certificate for um, GAM Petroleum? Yes, we do have. You do have a share yes, certificate. Yes, we, we do have a certificate. For because this one, no share certificate no, was no issued. No share certificate. And even the directives from the Office of the President, it doesn't say acquisition of share. It's telling us contribution towards government um, agreement on acquisition of this thing. It was later you, that it, mm. they wanted to transform it, it uh, company, and then so to uh, that the payment we made to be converted to sales. Were you members of the board? Was there a board? Uh, not. I would not call it a board. We had meetings between social security and ports. Definitely. And so then GPA. There was me. never any board. No, not an appointed board. No, but you own 45% of Gambia government. What was yeah. Gambia government's um, stake in the joint venture? How much? 45%. You know, okay. Gambia government's stake on the joint venture was 45%. And your stake in the Gambia yeah. government, 45% yeah. yeah. okay. is how much? You know, what they did was uh, on this joint venture, 100%. Gambia government is 45%. Gallia is 55%. So out of the 45% was transformed to 100% between Social Security, Gambia government, and GPA. 45% to Social Security, 45% to GPA, and 10% to Ministry of Finance. But Ministry of Finance, they later back out. They said they could not anymore contribute towards this you know, joint venture. They don't have the funds. So it was between Social Security and uh, GPA. Okay. All right. Were there any meetings between Gallia and the government um, group com comprising your se um, GPA, Social Security, and Where Gambia is there government? there any? Meeting between Gallia on the one hand and Gambia government represented by yourself, um, that Social Security, GPA, and, uh, Gambia Go and Ministry of Finance. No, definitely. We used to have series of meetings at the uh, Gambia Post Authority with the with, attendance. With the, with the Gallia group? Yeah, with the Gallia people, with uh, Ministry of Finance attendance. Did you attend sort of any of those meetings? Yeah, I've, I've attended quite a number of meetings regarding to this issue. So what happened? Why? We know the ferries did not work. Yeah, we, did not we, work we've, we, well, we've been told mm -hmm. in this commission that the ferries were... Not of, not of use. Was it useless or not of any use? You are <laughs> um, the slipways could yeah. not be made functional enough or whatever happened. We don't know. We, so from your own perspective as investors with an equity stake in this project, mm -hmm. what was the problem as you perceived it or as you saw it? Yeah, definitely. The, the proposed investment or the company did not took off the ground. There was nothing happening. They got those ferries, everybody saw these ferries and that sort of thing, and that, that was it. Because I think they have issues regarding to dredging and that sort of thing. So definitely they cannot, they cannot utilize those ferries. So what's the situation now? Well, I don't your, know much about it. Your I money know. is tied up. Your money is tied up in two ferries okay. that are yeah, not right. operational, in slipways that are lying useless. Yeah. So what is the next step for social security in this matter? Oh, well, what is the what is the status of affairs? Okay, only recently they were talking about arbitration between Gambia government and Gallia. At the Ministry of Justice, I think the Ministry of Justice regarding to this uh, arbitration proceeding, 
because they were the ones representing Gambia government. I think they traveled to those people, met with those people, whatever agreement they had, I don't know. It was okay. in community well. to us. Yeah. Let's have the documents. Yeah. Mm, here, here, here. And this other one as well. Yep. Yeah, that's all. Mr. Chairman, may I apply to have admitted um, a copy of a joint venture agreement between the Republic of the Gambia and Gallia Holdings Limited, Marshall Islands, dated 5th March 2011, and correspondence between the Office of the President, Ministry of Finance, and Social Security with regard to the joint venture agreement or payments on behalf of government. As well as a walkabout resolution. Um, Mr. Chairman, I don't seem to have the letters of 8 March that you mentioned. Letters of 8 March that you yeah, mentioned. Yeah, there. Everything is there. You want me to come and show you? Oh. Okay, they, they're behind the, the resolution. Okay. Okay.
between the Republic of the Gambia and Gallia Holdings Limited, dated 5th March 2011, on the acquisition of the ferries Al Jamdu and Kansala, plus related documents in a bundle, admitted mark SC35. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yes, ma'am. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, this loan, mm -hmm. is it still on your books or has it been written off? It's still in our books. You mean the acquisition of the ferries? Yes, it's still in our books. Mm. Okay. Right. I don't have further questions on this. Commission members might have commissioners questions before I move on to the next one. Mr. Chairman, one quick one. From your knowledge and interaction with the GPA or the Gallia people, was there any consideration of the rams prior to the acquisition of the ferry? Um, not, not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge. Really. So it means the ferries were procured mm -hmm. and then the idea of where they should dock came. Yeah, came afterwards, yeah. Brilliant, thank you. Mr. Chan, we'll move on to the next investment. Yeah, the, the next one is the Qatari investment. That is Gambia Food and Feed Industries. All right. What is the Gambia Food and Feed Industries? Um, on May 20, 2010, we received a letter from the Office of the President addressed to the Managing Director, Gambia National Petroleum Company, GNPC, Managing Director, Gambia Ports Authority, and Managing Director, Social Security and Housing Finance Corporation. And then the subject was on the matter of the proposed joint venture with a Qatari company. And then the letter reads, I hereby write as a follow-up to the meeting you had yesterday with Honorable Dr. Njoguba at the conference room of this office on the subject of taking up sales in a venture with Qatari-based company that is investing in a key manufacturing venture here in the Gambia. And then in brackets, the only absentee at this meeting was Social Security and Housing Finance Corporation. The only, sorry? Absentee on this okay. meeting was Social Security. We did not attend this particular meeting. And then the next paragraph says, I am to recapitulate the agreement that our, that out of the $7 million represent our contribution to the venture. It says GNPC will take up 15%. GPA will take up 20% and Social Security and Housing Finance Corporation will take up 65%. 65? 65. Yes, 65%. Then it says the mode of payment will be as follows. 15 days from today's date, you would both be required to pay half the value, your shares, and the remaining half another 15 days. And it says you will realize the urgency, urgency of this transaction because it was an executive directive that all the necessary assurance, including the paperwork, be concluded before the visiting team of Qatari investors who are in town for the proposed leave. The Sockley. visiting? The, it says, okay, <clears throat> you will realize the urgency of this transaction because it was an executive directive that all the necessary assurance, including the paperwork, be concluded before the visiting team of Qatari investors who are in town for the purpose. Leave shortly. Please treat as urgent and lace with Honorable Dr. Njoguba to finalize. 
Sign Ibrahim O. Kamara for Secretary General, copied to Honorable Dr. Njoguba, Minister of Works, Construction and Infrastructure. Okay. okay with the last paragraph there, we says we should, should treat with urgency and then to lace with Dr. Njoguba. When management lays with um, Dr. Njoguba, he made to us that he made known to us that it's not dollars; it should be in dollars. It's instead of seven million dollars, it should be seven million letter, dollars. Yeah, yeah, it should be dollars, non dollars. Mm -hmm. And there was a communication to that effect. When the letter on um, second on fourth June, twenty ten. This it letter very urgent, addressed to the acting managing director, Social Security and Housing Finance Corporation. Proposed joint venture with Qatari. With reference to your correspondence, SSFC stroke G79, volume 258, dated 28 May 2010, regarding the above subject, I wish to inform that the amount quoted in your letter is correct, but it should be in US dollars instead of Gambian dollars. Please rectify the amount to $7 million. Regards, HM Tambe Du Jawara Mrs. for Secretary General. Copied to Honorable Dr. Njoguba, Minister of Works, Construction and Infrastructure. From there, um, uh, the management came up with a board walkabout resolution. To effect payment of this directive received from the Office of the President. Yeah, the board there is a board resolution. Yeah, there is a board resolution there. And it's dated when? The board resolution was dated 2nd June 2010. Okay. After receiving that letter from uh, the Office of the, regarding to the clarification of the currency. Chairman uh, of the board and managing director of Social Security. Uh, the chairman of the board was Mr. Amadou Samba and then the managing director was Mr. Edward Graham. Okay. So what happened after that? Did you pay? Yes, we did pay. The attachment regarding to the payment. And then an, an account number also. How much did you pay? 65% of, of, of $7 yes, million? Dollars? Yes, 65% of $7 million, which amounts to $4,550,000. You paid that? You paid that, yes. How much dollars at the time? It was $133,605,000. Okay. What is... I would like you to explain what the investment was. Gambia Food and Feed Industries. You have here you were paying 65 million. Did you find out what it was for? Well, we did actually make the payment. Later on, we, in fact, initially, at the initial start, it was called Qatari Investment. We never knew it was in connection with animal feed and that sort of thing. Because what they were saying is, you know, we didn't know much about it. Yeah, but the letter did indicate what sort of investment it is, isn't it? The letter from the office of the president. Yeah, Qatari investors and that sort of thing. Manufacturing, key manufacturing venture in the Gambia. It does it uh, exactly say what this venture, this line of business is about. So, Mr. Chan, what did you tell the board when you asked for $133 million? Okay, what I did management the board, tell the, the, the board? board? Did you, the board did you, what, what were they invested in, investing in or approving? A board walkabout resolution was prepared. I can read the board walkabout resolution. Yes, that but the walkabout resolution is an outcome of what management submitted to the board. I would like yeah, to that, know what management yeah, submitted what to the that's board. That's the submission here. The submit, this is the submission. That's the board walkabout resolution, the submission, and then you have the board member sign at the back of it, approve or not approve. Are you saying there was no supporting document? You just drafted a resolution and the board signed yes, it? Yes, that's, that's, what, that's, that's what the then management did. When they received it, they uh, probably asked the sector to the board Mr. to... Mr. Chama, are you sure? Yeah, yes. That's the document. That you did not explain what it is about. You did not attach the letters from Office of the President. They, do, they do attach it. Normally, it's attached on the board work about resolution. With but the, there is no write-up about what this investment that's was. That's what for. I'm saying. The work about resolution write-up is here. That is it here. This is what they should present to the board. All right. With the letter, what did it, the directive. What, what is the investment according to the work about resolution? According to this document, it says an executive directive reference OP217. No, Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Was received from the Office of the President, for, followed by another letter reference, 1st June, instructing SSAF to purchase 65% of government contribution to the proposed venture amounting to 4550000 
which converts to 118 million dollars is the payment the payment of 50 percent of the amount should be made on 3rd june and then the other 50 percent on 18 june by a letter reference dated 20 june the honorable minister and finance has given ministerial approval for SHFC to proceed with the financing of the sales. Management hereby seek the endorsement of the board for management to proceed with the payment in line with the executive directives. That's what they present to the board. So basically what you're saying is Social Security was investing in a venture they didn't know anything about? I, 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 I should think so. Because definitely by the time we got this thing, we didn't know that it was actually meant for animal feed and that sort of thing. Right, so you paid. What happened after that? Yeah, we paid, and then the attachment uh, relating to those uh, the payments we made, they are here attached with. And then we were made to understand that, you know, uh, that uh, particular joint venture took off the ground. It was Sorry, around. that it took off the ground? Yeah. It started operating. Where? Okay. It's, it's at um, Kamalo, the highway, Serekuna Banjul Highway. That's where the... Those factory. silos at, at Kamalo? Yeah, that's right. Those are so the, what do they the, manufacture there? Well, uh, basically it was animal feed. Animal feed? Yeah, animal feed. Because I remember one time we, we, uh, we had a meeting at the office of the president uh, for the launching of the actual animal feed at cabinet. Now you were acquiring 65% yeah. of government... Contribution. Con well, contribution, yeah. uh, we'll call it that for want of a better word, or government shares in this joint venture. Yeah. How much was government shares in this joint venture supposed to be? According to the letter, government shares was supposed to be 7 million. I don't know what the no, 7 what million translate to. You never knew? No, we never knew. What we, their contribution is 7 million, and they said we should meet 65% of their contribution, which uh, amounted to 4.5. Was any government uh, mechanism put in place, uh, any governance, sorry, mechanism put in place, like a board or some sort of um, okay. at least uh, body or committee to, to set up the operation that the company was supposed to be involved in? How was the factory set up? Is it a factory by the way? What do you call it? Well, the setting up of the... We were not definitely involved regarding the setting up of the factory or whatever. Our line of response there was to effect the payment. Okay, after effect the payment, I think the place operated for some time and then it ceased operation. I think they were having issues with the government. That was the time they involved National Audit Office. I know the National Audit Office did an audit there. Because there were claims and counterclaims that, you know, Mr. they Champ, didn't actually... Sorry, Mr. Cham, what, what I do want to know or understand is what steps Social Security took with regard to its investment. This was a significant investment in a venture. After you paid, were there any steps to take part in the governance of this, of this venture as would be normal for any investor to do? Not at the initial stage until when it ceased operation. That was the time the, we had a board. That was, was, yeah. was there an independent company operating it? Do you know? Uh, no, I don't. What is this GFF? Is it a GF? Is it Gambia Food? Gambia, Gambia Food. Is it a company? Feet. Well, that's how they call it. They is it a company? It. Yeah, a company. That's you think it's a company? Yeah, it's a company. From Qatari to GFFI. That's but how there is no board? Or oh, there was no board? That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> At the initial stage, I don't know whether there was a board or so, but after it ceased operation, there was a board which involved Social Security, GPA, and GNPC. And Mr. Amadou, is it Amadou Koli also, was the chairman of the board. And that was in September, that's the time they Mr. got the who? board. Sorry? Um, Mr. Who? Mr. Who Koli? Koli, yes, Amadou Koli. He's the number two guy at uh, GGC. The managing director, the GGC. Deputy, the deputy managing director. Deputy managing yeah. director is the chair. Yeah, it was the chair. Yeah. And who are members of this board? Yeah, Social Security, and GNPC, and GPA. So what is the state of affairs of this investment? Well, this, this, this investment definitely is also on uh, this thing, on uh, court arbitration as well. Represent the, uh, the government is represented by the Minister of Justice as well. They're having issues, you know, I don't know much about... So who started, who started the arbitration? 
Uh, on their side, because I think they were claiming certain, you know, monies regarding that, that the company should have started and they would have been making profit this year, the payment of dividend and that sort of thing. So they had issues regarding to those things. So you're speaking, speaking very fast. Who started the arbitration? Uh, it started from the other, other parties then, the, 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 the Lebanese, yeah. And I let, think let's, let's, currently... Let's have the documents before... Yeah, it's continue. currently being handled by the Minister of Justice. Mr. Chairman, may I apply to have admitted a letter from the Office of the President dated 20 May 2010 on the matter of the proposed joint venture with a Qatari company and um, other documents relating to the said joint venture, including payments made by Social Security and Housing Finance Corporation.
What's his name again? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Cham. Yes. We keep seeing in these documents, Qatari company, Qatari company, Qatari company. Did you ever identify the name of this Qatari company? What's the name of the Qatari company? Well, that's how it was sent to us. They just mentioned Qatari company and we were asked to pay Qatari company with the uh, bank details attached there. So, the so up to this date, you do not know the name of this Qatari company? No, what we only know is Qatari company and there were individuals representing this Qatari company during the meetings we had regarding to this GFFI. If you go through yes. the, I think there's an agreement, you know, those... So, so up to this date, mm. you do not know the name of Qatari. the Qatari company. Yeah, I would not know much regarding to the establishment of the I company. Can, I can't hear I you. I say sorry. I would not know much about regarding to the establishment of this Qatari company. But as I uh, uh, concluding regarding to this, I said, okay, Ministry of uh, Justice is handling this issue because it's under arbitration. And I believe, regarding to arbitration, is the Minister of Justice would be able in a position to identify the individuals regarding to this Qatari company. They are talking to people. They've traveled to meet people regarding to arbitration. So they might know who these people are. I see. You are giving us suggestion as to and how, that, how and to get... And that's exactly what is happening. They had meetings hmm. because it's on, the, it's on arbitration. No, no, no. I say you are just giving us suggestions as to how to know this Qatari company. company yes. But you at SSHFC do not know the name of this Qatari, Qatari company. company. No. Very well. That's clear enough. Thank you. We'll use the word. Letter dated 20th May 2010 from the Office of the President to the Managing Director SSHFC, the Managing Director GPA, and the Managing Director GNPC. Re on the matter of the proposed joint venture with quote unquote the Qatari company and related documents. Admitted Mark SC 36. Can I, can I have the documents once they are marked? Mr. Chap, the accounts to which these funds were paid, where, was, where, was the, where were the funds paid? Well, from the Social Security Fund. <clears throat> no, no. Paid to. All right. Let me am amend that <laughs> question. Social Security paid where? This hundred and you said, I think you mentioned that initially 118 million. Where did you pay it to? Yeah, and can I approach something? The account details are attached on the directive. All right. We'll yeah. give it back to you. Meanwhile, I'd like you to take a look at SC. This is an exhibit, SC 31. Exhibit SC 31 is a letter from the Office of the President dated 6 October 2011, mm -hmm. addressed to Managing Director Trust Bank Limited and mm -hmm. copied to others among whom is Social Security and Housing Finance Corporation, SSHFC. Have you seen that letter before? No. This is the first time I'm seeing this letter. I'll give you a moment to read it. 
letter from the office of the president. Sorry, don't read it aloud. Just I'll give you a moment to read it to yourself, just oh, okay. so that I can ask you a question. Yeah. You've read it? Yes, I've gone Now, this letter is information to you, your, your institution, among others, mm -hmm. that um, the account at Trust Bank mm -hmm. for the Gambia Food and Feed Industries, mm -hmm. feed GFFI, was to be changed, right? The name yeah. was to be changed to Gambia Animal Feed and Rice Project. Yeah and $500,000 had been paid mm -hmm. by the office of the president. Yeah. Are yes. you aware of $500,000 yes. being Is paid the, by the office of the president? I think I made a submission regarding to <coughs> that um, one million loan they took. And then the 500000 bid was the government of Japan, which they later cancelled. You remember? Sorry, the f Sorry? say so that again. My last appearance, I made a presentation regarding to a one million loan which the office of the president applied for. 500,000 cash and then the other 500 to the government of Japan regarding to tsunami something or so. The government of Japan, Japan. yes. Japan. But later on, they cancelled that draft for that 500,000. And it's the same 500,000 we, we, we were asked to pay it into this account with Trust Bank on the GFA5 account. It's the same 500,000 paid by Social Security into this account. So where you was Social Security credited for the $500,000 already paid? No, no, that's why it's still reflecting on our list we provided as non-performing loan. It's classified as a non-performing loan. We effect the payment. Afterwards, they were thinking of, I think there was a particular board meeting which the board members were thinking of converting it to, a, to an equity sales for Social Security because it was Social Security who paid that money into the GFF account. But no, we, it was not concluded. So the money is still hanging as a loan to the government. Why wasn't it um, accounted Sorry. for? Sorry, Councillor. Okay. We need a break now. All right. Thank you. We shall rise. We'll be back in 15 minutes.